Consider the following two dimensional array D in C programming language which is stored in row major order and this is the array an integer array D 128 cross 128. Demand paging is used for allocating memory and each physical page frame holds 512 elements of the array D. The least recently used LRU page replacement policy is used by the operating system. A total of 30 physical frame page frames are allocated to a process which executes the following code snippet. For int i is equal to 0 to less than 128i++, for int j is equal to 0 to j less than 128j++, d j i is equal to dji into 10. The number of page faults generated during the execution of the code snippet is what? So let's say that the number of elements which can be stored in one frame it's given is 512. That means one page frame of the RAM is able to hold 512 elements and also it is given that the elements are being stored in a row major manner. So let's assume that this is the array D which is 128 cross 128 that means 128 rows so from 0 to 127 and 128 columns 0 to 127 and they are being stored in row major order that means first this row will be stored then this row will be stored then this one and so on. So if we look at the number of pages that would be required to store this array. Number of elements in the array are 128 cross 128 and only in one frame 512 elements can be stored. So actually 32 pages or page frames would be required. However, the operating system is giving only 30 frames to this process. So there is bound to be page faults. And how many rows would be present in one frame? So there are 512 elements. Each row is having 128 elements. So four rows can be stored in one page frame. So if this is frame 0, then from i, which is the row number, the first four rows can be stored, then the next four rows and so on. And 30 frames, we will have 116 to 119. So these in each frame, four rows can be stored. So this is the code snippet that has to run. Now if we see the axis is for each row. So for i is equal to 0, that means for this row, we have to go for int j is equal to 0 to 128, we have to go. But the manner in which it is being accessed is dji, not dij, but dji. That means it is being accessed in this vertical manner. So what will happen that let's say i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0. That means we are accessing this element dji. Then i is still 0 but j becomes 1. But dji means first row and first column. So sorry, second row which is index 1 and this first column. So this element. So we are actually accessing the, uh, the array in this manner. So initially since the frames are empty, so and it is using, uh, it's given that it is using demand paging. So as and when there would be a requirement, the element would be or the that particular element would be brought in the uh, the frame. So when i is equal to 0, when we are talking about this element, it is definitely going to be a page fault because this frame has not been brought in. So this frame is brought in and this is a page fault. Then when we are talking about 1, 0, then we are talking about this particular row and this particular element, then again there is going to be no page fault because then this element 
0 1 because this whole frame has been brought so all of these rows are present then it is not going to be a page fault but when it comes to this fourth row then again it is going to be a page fault when because now this will lie in frame 1 so frame 1 is having 4 5 6 7 so again this frame when it comes to 4 0 so d 4 0 now it is going to be a page fault again then again till it comes over here again it is going to be a page fault for 116 now when 120 comes all the frames the 30 frames are full so we have to now replace a frame and the least recently used frame will be replaced now this frame 0 was the one which was used very early so this will be replaced by rows 120 to 123 and then finally frame 1 would be replaced by 124 to 127 rows so if you see that the at the end of the first iteration all the 32 pages are going to give us the page fault and at the end page frame 3 to page frame 32 not page frame but page 3 to page 32 would be available in the frames and pages 1 and 2 will be moved out due to LRU replacement. So how many number of page faults will be there after one iteration 32. At this end of second iteration again when we start from this now this page 1 was removed earlier so now this will be brought again and it will come in that frame which was used very early that means this frame and again it will go on like this and again these would be replaced. So this is going to go on and at the end of second iteration again there will be 32 pages which will cause page fault. So at in each iteration we are seeing that there are going to be 32 page faults and this loo loop it is running from i is equal to 0 to less than 128 that means 128 times. So the total number of page faults would be 32 into 128 which is 4096.